Hello, everyone. So uh, I was in Paris last weekend, and I wanted to go out. I had the money, I had the clothes, and I went to the club. The line was too huge, and I didn't know the developer or the club owner, and they didn't let me in. Okay, I'm a club owner, and even on my best nights, I don't sell out 100% of my bottles. And the, 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 the booking system that I'm using is outdated. So my name is Nazar, and I'm here to offer a solution. Champagne Me, an online reserva reservation system for bottle service. It's exactly like Open Table, but for nightclubs. Users would log in, pick the service that they want at the nightclub of their choice, and prepay and get into the club hassle-free. And through the cloud, nightclub owners are notified exactly how many people are getting into their club before the night even starts. So we already signed two of the awesomest clubs in Paris, and my team and I are here, dedicated and wanting to meet some designers, some de developers, and like-minded entrepreneurs who can help us scale this to something big. Thank you. Okay, hello. Um, I want to solve a problem that I have. I need to speak uh, better English. Um, to do that, I, I, the best way is to, is to speak with native speakers. But in my day, day activities, uh, I'm unable to find native speakers willing to speak to me at moments that suit me. So my idea is to create a website where somebody could connect, find a native speaker to talk to for some amount of time, pay him, and the website would take a little cut on the payment. So the website could be called uh, getfluent.com, for example. Uh, so let me repeat, just a website where you connect, you get to speak to native speakers, you pay them, and the website takes a little cut. About me, I'm a computer science PhD working in a web agency, so I'm definitely able to technically do this, but I'm in need of design help, marketing help, and legal help because there would be lots of payments involved. Martin. Getfluent.com. Uh, hi, so what I want to do, I want to create a tool uh, basically to analyze and visualize recruitment needs. Now, I'm a recruiter myself. Uh, I'm specialized in finding engineers for my clients. Uh, what happens quite often when I, I send a job description to, uh, to an engineer, uh, the engineer tells me, well, I, I don't really understand the job description. Uh, sometimes they even tell me, I don't think the client knows what they're looking for. Uh, so the idea is to create uh, a tool that would help really translate a business need for the client uh, into a job requirement, a job opening, and define more clearly uh, what kind of person the client is looking for and also uh, pr produce really a visual presentation to communicate more effectively uh, what the job is about uh, so that the engineers uh, really get it. Um, and so the business model would be to, to sell the tool basically to either recruitment agencies or to the end users, the clients, and I'm looking for a, a marketer, a developer, and a graphic designer. Thank you. Hey. Uh, I'm an e-commerce guy and sometimes I see things and uh, one of the things I saw is, uh, is my idea now today. Uh, so I have a problem, I want to sell my guitar and what I do, I go to all the classified the websites and put ads there, create accounts, update the profile, answer the same question everywhere. So it's a lot of hassle and it takes me like weeks, you know, to sell this guitar. That's a simple transaction. A solution for that I see is um, like a simple one entry point for the potential customers. And on behalf of uh, myself, the platform would create advertisements on those different classified sites. So I would save a lot of time and I would sell my guitar and I would have a cool web page. Let's say a platform gives this entry point as a website where I put a product, fancy product page of my guitar. So uh, that's it. I need basically a full team. Hi, my name is Jacopo. I present my project is East. These tablets cost now less than 150 euros. I think in the next few years, every house will have one. 
and there is a big market also for the in-house um, health care uh, service. But the, the interface is really, really not simple. And I want something very much simpler, easy, simple, touch screen. And for that, I will build an Android app that will present on the same page, on the full page, all the information the user need. And uh, this, this one will be displayed uh, continuously because the, the, the tablet will be on the grid. And there will be a possibility, of course, to um, uh, set it also from a um, distant device in order to help also the non-expert user uh, to get the really easy, simple experience. Uh, the solution, the, 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 the concept will be have also a communication tool that uh, could also help uh, send a little text message to the most non-geeky. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Mathieu and this is my uh, second green project. You are richer than you think. Did you know that there is at least 500 euro well hidden in your house? We can tell you that your unused camera is worth 60 euro per month. Your sander per drills is worth at least 300 euro per year. My company, Montresor.be, is developing a website to help family, uh, families which are on a tight budget to uh, save money, make money, and be green. And this, just by renting out their stuff, unused items, um, which are gathering dust in, their cl in the closets. Um, we provide an internet platform. Um, uh, we provide an internet platform where you can connect and access uh, through uh, the web or your smartphone or tablet, and its price depends on the number of items you put online. We are currently looking for a Kikas developer. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nerius, and uh, my idea for Startup Weekend Projects is to create a game for smartphone starting on Android uh, operating system. The game type would be Escape the Room game, which is kind of puzzle quest type of game where you find yourself in a locked room and you search for exit, uh, f trying to find things there, combine them and, and find the exit in the end. For the money thing, it would be adver advertisements, commercial ads, and for a certain amount of money, you would be able to buy ads free version. Uh, for people needed for a team, some Android developers, uh, designers to, to draw screens, and uh, people who like to solve or to create puzzles. And it could be a startup for a company who wants to create games for smartphones. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alex. Uh, my project is basically a tool that lets you decide what you should be doing right now so that you don't get everything in your life late. Um, basically, we face day-to-day -day challenges in our lives, managing between business time, I mean, uh, work, the time you spend at work, the time you spend on your personal things. And so my product will try to, based on your estimations, give you the best thing you could be working right now so you don't get late. I'm a programmer. I've been programming for the last 13 or so years, um, and I'm looking for all skills for this project. Thank you very much. The project name is Taskin, at least. That's my temporary. <laughs> Wow, Elisa, are you getting married too? Yes, is that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but don't you think it's all so expensive and time consuming? You know, you have to look everywhere to find the best price. Yes, I know, but everybody needs the same basic uh, stuff. So those should be cheaper and easier to find. You know, by bundling group reductions online, we should get prices down a bit like a wedding coupon, more or less, for invitations, catering, flowers, DJs. Or, or a, venue, a venue tracker. Which venue is available when and where? So in the end, you have more time and money left for the original parts of your wedding. 
the honeymoon, open bar, strippers, and by making everything more transparent, you can even make it cheaper and easier for your guests, like secondhand dresses, <laughs> hotel reductions. <laughs> Hi, my name is Friedger. <laughs> my project name is uh, Facebook Conversion. And the idea is to help shop owners, high street shop owners, to bring uh, offline customers and online customers together. So I want to build a platform where shop owners can loan um, a tablet and place a tablet in the shop. And in the shop, the offline customers can connect to say Facebook, and there they get a refund, or a, um, <laughs> a reduction on what they buy, they leave a comment, and um, so he get engaged uh, with the website of the um, shop owner. Hello, my name is Thierry. My project is a global network of passionate cooks welcome, uh, willing to welcome people at home in their dining room. So imagine you have a passionate cook, professional or not, willing to make extra money by offering paying dinner at home. But he's looking for guests. And on the other side, you have a couple of friends. They love good, good cooks, good food. They love good, great wines but they fed up a restaurant. They want a new, good, great food experience and social if possible, but they don't know where. My project is a digital marketplace where passionate cooks will meet their guests. The project will be funded by a commission on the, uh, on the dinner and possibly by commercial deals. So if you like the idea and you feel you can make this project even bigger, well, Vote for the project. I have it. Hi, uh, my name is Raghu. Uh, project name is Get an Item. So basically, I think uh, the thing we are looking at, there are two types of people. One set of people who are flying from a city A to city B all through the year. And another group of people who probably want something from a city. So, for example, if you're somebody flying from New York to Brussels, and somebody in Brussels wants something in New York, he, he doesn't know a way to get it. So the idea is the person traveling can buy it with him and get it and deliver it to you in Brussels. So the idea is to have a marketplace to link these two people together. Uh, money is made by the commission on top of either just make, uh, making them meet or a transaction cost on the item itself. Uh, so I think I have a business idea and some things worked out, but I need a developer or somebody to market, uh, help market it, design, and so on. If you're up for it, give it a note. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mehdi. Um, let's call the project Social Analytics for Belgium. So it's about analyzing data from social media, um, answering typical requirements for the Belgian market, um, so basically it consists in giving, from giving marketers some insights about their products and their campaigns based on data from Facebook, Twitter, blogs, other social media. Belgian companies have typical requirements, very specific, like to analyze data in text in different languages and to consider different communities. And these existing software in the market do not do this because they are more US centric. So I propose to create a solution to these specific Belgian requirements. I need any kind of skills, technical, marketing. That's it. Hi, my name is Don, um, and the temporary name of my project is Ford Education. Um, basically, um, the education market is very old-fashioned. Um, there's uh, a very 
authoritarian uh, modus of transferring knowledge. There's a teacher standing in front of the room and there's a student receiving knowledge. Um, when I was a student, I was working with an online platform called WebCity or Blackboard. It was one of the most horrible tools available. It's just the teacher sending out information, grades and assignments and there's no videos, there's no sharing of knowledge, there's no assignments that can be done between students. So basically I think this is a very old fashioned model and I'm not too sure about what can be done. I think it can be improved in lots of ways, uh, but I think there's a problem there. There's a problem there for students, there's a problem there for learning. Um, and I think a platform where students can cooperate together with a teacher can uh, put on suggestions for, uh, I don't know, lectures or live streaming, whatever it's possible. I'm looking for developers and designers. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nico. My project is Allergy Low Label. Allergy low label. Uh, I don't believe in banks. I invest in real estate and now I'm landlord of LG low uh, apartments. One on three persons has have an allergy so I want to create a label for good real estate and the label must be on the website of the owners. Thanks. Hi, my name is Val. I have a project um, for a special taxi company. I have a little uh, sister teenager and I'm very uh, worried when she's going out. So I would like to create a special company with a driver. The parents know who is the driver who take in charge uh, the children and then you know uh, where and where and uh, who, where. Uh, the, the taxi is coming and then the parents can pay with prepaid uh, check so the children cannot uh, exchange the money for drinks or everything. The, 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 the driver is paid before the teenager is taken in charge. Anybody else? Pascal, anybody else? Come on, he's been sending us emails for the week, uh, choosing the idea and everything. He, at least he has to present. Hello, so my name is Pascal. Um, I would like to develop a mobile application for beers. So if you are in a bar, you can see the, the beers that are available. You can uh, check in and then rate it. Then later you can see which one you already tried and if you like it or not. And then you can find new ones uh, based on your, the one you like or the one your friends like. Uh, you can also um, uh, well, yeah. Um, no, you, you can have um, some beer, uh, some games like uh, random select or drinking beers, uh, drinking games. Sorry. Um, and so yeah, there are some already some applications, but there are mainly from the U.S. And uh, the, the 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 quality of the data are not good, and uh, they, they, are, they don't really have uh, suggestion uh, aspects, no social aspects also. So yeah, that's it. Okay, are we done? One more. No second ideas. One idea per person. You have to make choices. You already made it. It's a, it's all, you only have a weekend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, my name is Maxim and uh, my project has absolutely no name yet. Well, we just came up with it. So imagine uh, you check into your hotel and half an hour later, room service comes knocking at your door with your favorite, with a glass of uh, your favorite wine and a piece of pie you tweeted just three days ago. Uh, well, about. And, um, well, this uh, kind of spontaneous gestures can start word of mouth for your hotel or businesses. So uh, what we actually need are developers or designers or marketeers um, to make uh, software to, build, uh, wait, to data, man, data mine the internet and monitor social media and uh, network the... Uh, 
internet influence from uh, your from the clients from the hotel, and that's it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Christoph. Um, my project is, um, is called Get a Beer. You know, when you have some visitors and uh, it could be a surprise and you go in the fridge and there are no beers. So <laughs> what you can do is go on a website, order some beers, your preferred one, Belgian beers, and that's it. Someone deliver you the beers and you can enjoy with your friends the night. That's it. One more. Anybody else is thinking about presenting ideas? Okay. Well, actually, there are already plenty, uh, plenty of really good ideas. Anyway, um, one thing that came to my mind uh, when I was coming before I was coming here is uh, there is no kick-ass job exchange for startups. I've been looking at that, I've been Googling for that, um, st uh, Startup Jobs Europe, and the first page is just all total nonsense. Okay, so the idea is startups means uh, you need, you're looking for people who are, not, uh, who are really passionate about their jobs, um, who are not working from nine to five, so you need to look for people who are actually completely different than what you have in normal jobs. So the idea is create a kick-ass kick um, kick website for jobs, and actually you can do lots of stuff around that. Um, oh, and I'm totally tired because I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to get a flight. Okay. Yes, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Ah, oh, Florent, finally. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. Well, I would like to pitch that idea because um, I had this problem uh, recently. I was looking for a good um, web application I was browsing the web everywhere. I cannot find a good invoicing system. I cannot find a good um, cloud hosting uh, system. No, no, yes. <laughs> but uh, for the rest, it's still difficult to find uh, the right uh, application, I think. So I would like to make a tool to find the right app uh, for businesses, uh, like SIS uh, softwares. And uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, easily, I think, and so it will be useful, I think. <laughs> so that's it. We'll try that. Uh, we're looking for, we can think about the ID, about the business model, about a um, lot of different stuff. Uh, we can make around this. And yeah, that's it. It's, it's a kind of, let's call it a web app store. Nobody else that hasn't presented yet that wants to present an idea? Trey, come on. You know the drill, you come. Okay, so I have no idea about the business model, but there's a lot of social unrest these days. There are strikes, there are protests. So I was thinking for a while, um, it would be really nice if you were going someplace, if you could get an alert in advance like, oh, don't try to take a train, don't try to take the taxi because they're gonna be on strike. So to do this, because they want to disrupt things, you would have to do a lot of data mining and scraping and et cetera, et cetera. A potential client could be a uh, government or sort of uh, <laughs> our uh, travel travelers could pay for alerts. I don't know. It was just an idea. So, uh, and the name is FUBAR because I just decided to get up here. And I finished on early. <laughs> Come on. come on. Everybody else that wants to present, please come here already. Okay. My name is Johan. Um, well, about one and a half year, hours ago, I finished writing my PhD. And I was... <laughs> <laughs> I still have to defend. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm into... Well, I've been doing a lot of hydrological modeling and uh, things with weather. And I'm, I think there's really a market for... We are now building very good weather models where we can predict if we have uh, radar data, okay, there will be a storm and your house might be affected. So I'm, I'm thinking about a service where people can like, uh, 
uh, leave their get a message when their house is in danger or when the location where they are is a danger. And well, business model, it could be from two things, maybe the messages which you receive or paid, or you can talk with governments who might be interested or with uh, insurance companies maybe who would like to support. So it's only weather, you can do it for weather, but you could do it, for example, for flood, uh, disasters or things like that. I would call it my alert, but it already exists. 